Welcome to In Her Shoes, I'm Susie Daphnis. My guest today is Ronnie Khan, founder of Oz Harvest, a charitable organisation which has over the last six years delivered more than four and a half million free meals to people in need. Earlier this year, Ronnie was awarded the Australian of the Year Local Hero Award for her generous work. Ronnie, hi and welcome. Hello Susie, how are you today? I'm very well, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Tell me a little bit about the good work that Oz Harvest does. Well, our purpose is to rescue good food and to feed it to people in need. And that's what we do every day. You found that there was a lot of waste in the hospitality industry when it comes to food. What was happening? Well, I was putting on events, um, that's my business, putting on special events. And I always like to over cater. I mean, I didn't want any of my events to run out of food. And so there was constantly food left over and food that was getting thrown away. And I realized that one, if it was happening at my events, it was happening at everyone else's, and that it was unacceptable, really. So in the early days when I could, I would take food and drop it off at a couple of agencies, community services. Mm -hmm. But when I reached the point that I actually wanted to make a significant difference and had to look at what my skills were and what would be the best way to do that, I realized that I did know that there was food and I did know that there were people in need, that I would probably never stop world hunger and never stop poverty, but that if I could take that food and be, create the missing link between the food mm -hmm. and people in need, it would be a good thing. And that was the genesis of Oz Harvest. And that's how Oz Harvest started and now four and a half million plus meals later. Yeah, actually. 5.3 million up to yesterday. Really? <laughs> I like that you have your business statistics right to the minute. Absolutely. I mean, really, in order for us to keep evaluating and being able to share what our value proposition is, it became very clear that I needed to have data. We're an interesting charity as such because I set up with a very tight business model mm -hmm. in order to constantly, one, it hadn't been done, it was a niche market, and two, in order to justify and be able to evaluate our, our um, really the good that we were doing and to be able to justify taking money from um, corporates or philanthropic organizations who fund us, I needed to always be able to justify and understand the value of what we do. Mm. So how did your previous business experience help you meet the challenges that you've had since starting this organization? Well, there's no doubt that in my event production business, what I was on about was coordination, logistics, and running to a very tight schedule, putting on an event, producing an event, you only have a short amount of time, um, lead time often, a short amount of time to actually create an event, produce something wonderful, and then pull it all apart. Mm -hmm. So first of all, one, that was one of the overriding factors for me to actually to create something that was long lasting. I was doing these wonderful things, but for very short periods of time that stayed in the memories of my clients, but didn't leave me feeling fully satisfied. Mm -hmm. But being able to produce an event which has so many multifaceted sides to it, relationships, um, I guess I brought those skills of knowing how to manage relationships and put something together and coordinate and produce an outcome that was very valuable, that you know fulfilled its end need. So I think those skills of being able to coordinate, is, because really what Oz Harvest is, is a transport and logistics company. We just pick up for free and deliver for free. For free. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd like to talk about corporate social responsibility. You mentioned that you do have the support of a number of corporations. Tell me what role do you see um, corporations needing to play when it comes to supporting those that need their help? Look, corporates have, have a dual purpose in this. I mean, there's absolutely no doubt that corporates that are out there um, making their money mm -hmm. have a responsibility to the communities within which they um, survive to give back. So, so for them to be able to use their people, so volunteering skills and their money, I mean as far as I'm concerned it is an essential part of business. So 
really. The interesting thing is that when I started Oz Harvest, there was very little corporate social responsibility. The concept was just at the very beginning. So our timing was perfect. A lot of the people who supported us initially didn't even have foundations, but now do. Mm. So, so it has come such a long way and it is such an important fabric and part of the, the institutions, the social institutions that exist. Mm. In early 2010, you were awarded the Australian of the Year Local Hero Award. Yeah. What impact has that had on you and on Oz Harvest? I get a little bit overwhelmed when you actually even mention it because, of course, first of all, I could never have appreciated what it would do, but certainly it was the furthest thing from my mind. It's not something one ever... Well, it just didn't even occur to me that I'd be honoured in such an enormous way. So what it's done for me personally is, of course, it has raised my profile and in doing that has raised the profile of the food waste sector. I mean, there wasn't a food waste sector five years ago before Oz Harbour started. It has changed the nature of our brand. It's elevated the brand Oz Harvest. People think food rescue. They think Oz Harvest. It's, it's huge. It's immeasurable. The, 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 the dollar value is, is immeasurable but what it's actually done to helping us promote both food waste, food insecurity, and our personal brand of Oz Harvest has been enormous. Mm. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's, it's, it feels good. You have a lot of business experience, and what I'd yeah. love to ask is for two or three tips or strategies that those watching can take away and implement into the work they're doing. There's absolutely no doubt that what I realize now, and if I'd have known some of these things when I was running my own business, I probably could have retired much earlier <laughs> and not had to continue working. So the first thing is that, that I think I've seen with our Oz Harvest model, and that is to, I have surrounded myself with the most extraordinary people, and their skills constantly make me look fantastic. <laughs> so the only thing I can say is seriously, choose wonderful people. Don't ever feel threatened by choosing wonderful people because ultimately they make what you do look fantastic. The second thing is be very clear on your focus and outcome. I think having that clarity helps the people around you, helps, helps fuel and, and promote what it is that you're doing because when you're clear about it and you don't waver, people seem to like that sense of leadership. And I guess a third thing is be passionate about what you do because if you're not passionate about what you do and you're not authentically passionate about what you do, people know that and people are attracted to passion, energy and enthusiasm. And I think that, you know, you can't fake it. You have to be genuine. And, and so find what it is you love to do before you do it. Thank you for sharing your passion with us and thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, really, again, for the opportunity of sharing what Oz Harvest does and, and my personal story. Great. Thank you.